Hey guys, I'm Paul the Tech Giant, and today we're going to show you the best way to lift an LG OLED TV. Now this video applies to the LG OLEDs, which are like this one, so very thin at the top, but get slightly thicker down the bottom. So this would apply to the A series, B series, and C series. Now, if you own a G series, you can lift this like a traditional TV. So one person either end holding each of the four corners. And uh, if you are rich enough to own a W series or wallpaper TV, then I would suggest you get your butler or chauffeur to help you out. Now, what we're gonna do is lift the TV out of the box, but what we're not gonna do is hold the TV up on the top like this, as you would do with a normal TV, and then the other hand at the bottom. What we are gonna do is put one hand roughly in line with this thick part here. So what I would suggest is putting, like a, wrapping a thumb around it, and putting your thumb almost in that line with that piece just there, and then your hand flat on the screen like that. So basically you are supporting it, your, the palm of your hand around uh, in line with this. So basically it's spreading the weight over this sort of more sturdy area just there. Now what you're gonna do with the other hand is just put it underneath the bottom of this chunky part there. You probably have to wiggle your fingers under it just a little bit if it is in the box. And uh, yeah, just get your fingers under there and you should be able to get a nice solid grip on it. Now for demonstration purposes, we have got this protective wrapping pulled down just so you can see what we're doing a little bit better. But I would always recommend leaving that on just to uh, stop you getting fingerprint marks all over the screen. Now it will look a bit odd the way that we're doing this because like I said, you would normally hold a TV top and bottom like that and even weight. And it would look like, you know, it may topple over the way that we're gonna lift it. But because the weight is down the bottom, trust me, you're not gonna have a problem. So just have confidence when you do lift it. Now, one other thing to point out is that if you are lifting out of the box, you may find it sticks to the polystyrene a bit, so maybe grip your feet around it if you find it does that. So anyway, let's uh, crack on and lift it up. So, putting our thumb then, just in line with this part, hand around the back, another hand underneath, ready? And there we go, lift it up. So, as you can see, we've got our hands in front there. Now, what we're gonna do, is rotate it down like that, and that is perfectly fine. It's not gonna go over that way. If we want, we can lift it back up again, just by putting a little bit of pressure on the hand that is on the screen, and just rotating it up. And again, we're now gonna lie it down. And there we go. Now again, normally when you're lifting it onto the floor, I would say, you know, obviously you're gonna have the wrapping on, so please just ignore what we're doing. You know, this is just for demonstration purposes again. So what we're gonna do is lift it up off the floor. Again, what we're gonna do is just wiggle our hands just underneath, again, once again, in line with that, thumb over the top, hand underneath the thick part just there, and lift up, and then put some pressure on the hand that's on the screen to rotate it up. And then you just slot, slot it back into place. Simple as that. Now I know some people in the comments will say that it's recommended to use these bits of polystyrene on the sides to lift up the TV. But personally, we find that awkward if you are wall mounting the uh, TV because those bits of polystyrene actually get in the way. And there you have it then guys. So give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and think about subscribing if you haven't already done so. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.